Hello and welcome to Health Hacks with Lloyd's Pharmacy. I'm Janelle and I'm here with Matt, our pharmacist from Lloyd's Pharmacy. Today, we're gonna to be giving you some asthma advice that could help you or someone you love. Whether you've lived with asthma your whole life or you wouldn't know what to do if someone was having an asthma attack, we're here to help. Hi, Matt. Hi, Janelle. So first of all, can you tell us a bit more about asthma? What is it? Yes, absolutely. So asthma is a chronic condition that affects the lungs and it can cause breathing difficulties occasionally. The main symptoms are coughing, breathlessness and wheezing, and also a tightness of the chest. Now, if those symptoms worsen, that can lead to an asthma attack, and that can happen suddenly, or it can worsen over a few hours or a few days. Wow, that's longer than I thought. I mean, does that mean that asthma attacks can be prevented? So to prevent an asthma attack, you should understand your own personal triggers and avoid them wherever possible. Now, triggers vary from person to person, but might include things like pollution, mold or also various allergies such as pollen or animal hair. If you've always lived with asthma you'll understand the importance of your own personal asthma plan and also to take your medication as prescribed. You'll need to see your GP or asthma nurse for your normal annual review but if your symptoms worsen or you're finding you're needing to use your inhaler a lot more than normal you'll need to make a more urgent appointment. Thanks. I think that's really useful information for people. I mean even if you lived with asthma your whole life um, so just going back to asthma attacks, of course they can be really scary for people that have asthma, but they can also be really scary for loved ones as well. Is there anything that we can do to help people that are having an asthma attack? Yes, absolutely. So whether it's a loved one, a stranger in the street, or even yourself, it's really important to know how to respond if somebody's having an asthma attack. The first thing to do is make sure they're sat upright and breathing steadily and slowly. And also if they got their inhaler, they can take a puff of that every 30 to 60 seconds up to a maximum of 10 puffs in total. If they don't have their inhaler on them, or if trying that is not helping their symptoms, call 999 immediately for more urgent help. It's really important if you've got a loved one with asthma to store a copy of their asthma plan, even if it's on your phone, so that that's available if they're having an asthma attack. Some really useful advice there, Matt. I mean, speaking of loved ones, what happens if it's a child that you're worried about? For many, asthma develops in childhood, so as a parent it's really important to be aware of those early signs. Now the symptoms themselves can be very similar in children as in adults, but children often won't communicate that they're experiencing those. So look out for a cough, particularly one that won't go away, and make a note of the time. So if it's at night time, or early in the morning, or if it's happening just after exercise, that can be a telltale sign of asthma. So it's best to get that checked out by a GP. Also, if your child is complaining of tummy ache or chest ache, that can also be a sign. So if they're rubbing their tummy or chest, that might be a sign they're having an asthma attack in childhood. Thanks, Matt. Some really useful information there. Leave your asthma questions in the comments below. And as usual, join us next time for next week's health hack.